Welcome back, and I'm pleased to be joined by Noemi Lugo. Now, Noemi is the Hispanic advocate for the YWCA Domestic Violence and Intervention and Prevention Program. They're partnering with Purdue and the Hannah Community Center for the Bandana Project. Noemi, thank you so much for being here. First off, thank you. the Bandana Project, and you gave me an education earlier today, just exactly what the project is and who mm -hmm. it goes to help. And wait till you see the, the, the percentage that you gave me uh, of the workers involved here. Uh, we want to make the public aware of the sexual harassment and domestic abuse that migrant immigrant women suffer in the workplace. And uh, we know that 90% of those migrant women suffer some kind of abuse. 90%. I mean, that, that was astounding when you first told me about mm -hmm. that. Yes. Now, the, significant, the significance of the bandana, mm -hmm. also the baggy clothes uh, that the, the workers wear. Yeah, they, uh, women in the workplace usually wear baggy clothes out in the fields to kind of hide their femininity, and they also wear bandanas um, around their faces to protect their identities. Uh, thus, they use the bandana as a weapon to protect themselves. And b because I mean, mm -hmm. people are trying to, to mess with them and, and mm -hmm. to abuse them. Right. And the, the misconception is they don't have a voice. They can't tell their, you know, their supervisors, other people to help them out. The mm -hmm. Bandana Project helps out with that. Exactly what's going on at the YWCA with the Bandana Project here locally? We are collaborating with multicultural uh, efforts to end sexual assault from Purdue and with Hannah Center. So the public is going to have the opportunity to come and decorate a white bandana. They can uh, draw a picture or write a message or a poem to show their support to these migrant women. And just, if nothing else, then to, to give them confidence to say, hey, you don't have to take this abuse. You need to tell somebody and get it, get it rectified. Right. We want them to know that there is help, that they need to speak up. They need to talk to a friend or to a boss or to somebody. But if they don't speak up, they're, then they're not going to get the help. So we want to educate them and let them know there's help. And the Bandana, Bandana Project helps raise awareness. The Clay Bull Project we, we talked about earlier on WLFI yesterday mm -hmm. helps raise money. Right. So a similar a similar situation yeah. there. How can we help mm -hmm. out locally? Uh, you can attend the Clayball Project on April 22nd at the YWCA. You can come for lunch or dinner and get a Clayball uh, made by local, local artists. Local artists, 20 bucks, and the money goes help to help out a great cause. Right. Noemi, thank you so much for being here. Thank we you really very appreciate much. It. Thank you. A new, faster way to find lung cancer may be on the